Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. So today I have a little haul video, not too big because the garage sales around here just haven't been that great. I am so ready for them to pick up. It's starting to cool off, but I don't know. We're not there yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I got. I got some stuff from thrift stores, some stuff from garage sales, a little here, a little there. But I was excited because it was enough to make a haul video. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got from this lady. So one of my customers, she was like, hey, I'm having a garage sale, but it's in another town. If you want, I can send you pictures of what we have and you can get first dibs. Duh, yes, I want. So she was sending me pictures and I picked out what I want and their prices were great. So I got these two little tin trays. They were a dollar each. I'm not sure how I feel about Fleur de Lis. Like, I know Fleur de Lis is still in style, although it's never been my style, so I don't know. Stamp 10 does look great painted in distress, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and see how it looks and decide if I want to do something else to it. But it has, like, these adorable little feet on it, so these are really cute. And then she had this very pretty terracotta vase. How cute is this? Like, the patina on it is perfect i don't even have to do anything to this it was five dollars it's a great size i'll probably sell it like maybe 15 to 18 dollars really really pretty i like this and then she had these hydrangeas all i wanted was the white ones but she sent me the whole bouquet i don't even know what i paid for this oh wait they were all tagged together i hope i didn't pay much Oh, 50 cents. Hello. That's cool. So, yeah, I'm just interested in the white ones. I always like to find good greenery to put in all my pieces. So, I can keep these till spring. Those will look good in spring. Um, oh, we got some pewter tonight. Look how pretty this is. So, this reminds me of the bowl that we used in my grandpa's garden to uh, pick green beans and stuff that was like all dented and they kept using it oh except this is pewter this is absolutely gorgeous it was five dollars as well i think i'll probably sell it like 20 25 ish it is absolutely beautiful i love it and then she had this little scalloped edge pewter how cute is this for a dollar i love this that's super cute um i'm gonna say like maybe eight dollars on this one I'm trying to give y'all prices and like i've been asking um like how do i know how to price stuff i just i don't know i guess from experience i kind of just know what people are willing to spend and i don't look anything up i just kind of like yeah i think somebody will pay that for this I don't know and that's pretty much just from experience like if I price things too high they don't sell then I price them lower but I try to price things to sell like I'm getting stuff at a good deal I want to give you stuff at a good deal I am not an antique dealer okay so um, that's why I said I'm not looking stuff up I'm just pricing it to move okay I have an idea for these there I have two of these there's the these moss square thingamajiggies and I have two of them and they were only a dollar so I'm like I'm gonna take a chance on them okay this is my vision for this I'm gonna put a frame around it so it'll be framed out and then it'll have wood in the center and in the center I could put a quote or a letter or something so this the green moss part will actually serve as the mat so it's gonna be framed out and this will be the mat and then there'll be like a centerpiece where I put wood and something and i think it's gonna look really really pretty that is my idea so that way you don't have to touch the moss part because every time you touch this stuff falls off so i just wanted to serve as a mat but it's these are pretty and greenery on walls like always look amazing okay this was definitely the best find of this thrift haul y'all look at this thing look at it <gasps> omg my daughter said i need to stop saying omg but i can't help it look how big this is 
So I just imagine this on somebody's farm table with all these fresh cut greenery from their landscaping and then some pumpkins. Oh, y'all, guess what I paid for this? $5. I'm probably gonna sell it for 35 or 40. It's amazing and like the age on it is great. I like the color on it. If you have a white table, this will look so amazing. Ah, I wish I could decorate my table, but you know, Ren. <laughs> She's always the problem. And let's see, I'm gonna put everything on the side. Oh, these are already sold actually. There's a set of three and they're mercury glass. I love mercury glass. So beautiful and expensive looking. So I have a customer that also really loves mercury glass. So when I got these, I immediately sent her a picture. I was like, hey, look what I got. <laughs> she wasn't very happy about that, but she bought them. <laughs> hey, I'm giving her a good deal because Y'all, I sold them to her for $35. It's a set of three. There's a taller one in here too. Um, go look up canister sets, mercury glass canister sets. These things are so, so expensive. So I got a good deal. She got a good deal. I think I paid $7 for the set. I sold it already for $35. It's been paid for. I just got to go bring it to her. Um, okay, I think that was everything from the lady that texted me the garage sale stuff. So I felt like that was good. I paid, uh, I think $27 for everything. I made my money back on that one canister set. So everything else is profit after that. And then I went to a garage sale in town. Let's see what I got. Oh, yeah. I might be keeping these because they match my sofa very well. They're from Pottery Barn. And if you could feel through the camera, uh, I mean, you can just feel quality. You know what I mean? So these are some amazing pillow covers. They were $2 for both of them. So a dollar each. Yeah, I was excited to find these. From Pottery Barn, you know those were expensive, brand new. And then I got this little bag of greenery from $2, for $2. I knew exactly where this was from. This is from Target. Cause I bought these sets last year and I just use them all over the place. So I picked this whole bag up, which I don't know if $2 was a good deal, but if I use them, it's a good deal. But then I did get a good deal on this. So this was $1 for this whole garland. Now I'm not going to use it as a garland probably cause I don't need one, but it has all this great greenery and little berries and pine cones and everything from it. So I can cut this apart and use it to accessorize my pieces. So definitely be thinking about that when you're out garage selling and all, that you can take things apart and use the greenery on it. Like a few years ago, I bought a Christmas tree at a garage sale. I am still cutting that thing apart and just using all the greenery to like stuff my pieces and put on my book sets and just, you know, like anything I'm selling for Christmas is going to have greenery on it. And it just, for a few cents, you know, like maybe a penny, it just really makes your piece look so much better. So it is pretty pretty all together as well. Because I like just a simple garland with different types of greenery, a little berries, and a little bit of pine cones. Um, what else we got? I think that's all I got from that garage sale. Like I said, there's not too much stuff. And then I went to a thrift store today and got a few things. I got this super heavy glass. I mean, it does have rocks in it, so that's probably making it heavy as well. But it was $3, and I thought it was really, really pretty. And I'm going to take these rocks out. It will look great with some oyster sails and some greenery in it. It's like that pretty, like, bluish glass. That's popular. Or I might not put anything in it, just put some greenery in it. I don't know. But $3, I knew that was a good price on this very tall vase. Oh, yeah. Look at these. 
so pretty copper little tins. They already have the perfect patina to them. They were $2 and I have a set of two and I'm probably going to try to sell them as this with this, like as a set for let's say maybe $16. Really cute. It's like $8 each. I feel like that's a good deal. Those are cute. And look at the little I love it. We always like it when it already has that patina on it. And then I probably need to stop picking these up because they haven't been selling that great, but I can't help it. This little silver tray with the little feet and the little handles. I love it. This one probably looked great if I painted the middle tray part and left the feet seeds as they are. But I'm not going to mess with any of this yet. I'm going to leave it out a little bit longer, see if it sells. I'm not going to start painting stuff unless it doesn't sell, then it gets painted. Because once it gets painted, it always sells. Look at these, how amazing. They are solid brass, the entire candlestick. And it has the patina that I love my brass to have. I like brass. I mean, look how good it looks in my house. I just love, love brass. So it's a matching set. They are so heavy. I paid $6 for the set and I'll probably sell the set for 20. So pretty. And this top is big enough to use as a riser. So if you wanted to put something else besides a candle, this would totally hold something else. But brass looks so good with red. So it's so nice at Christmas time. Really pretty. Okay, and then look at this silver angel, y'all. This thing is so nicely made. Look at the screws in the back. It's so heavy. Somebody needs this for Christmas. I paid, I thought I paid $3, but apparently I paid five. Um, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna sell her for 20. She is gorgeous. She's a great size. I mean, she's big. Yeah, I was excited about this one. That's cute. And then, it's been a while since I thrifted clothes because I just don't have time. Like, you, you need time to look through the clothes. So, I had a little time today, so I'm like, let me see if I can find some stuff for myself. So, I actually thrifted the shirt that I have on. I was excited because it was a petite, and I've been looking for some shorter shirts because now my jeans are all, like, high-waisted. So I like my shirts a little bit higher up as well because I like to front tuck and then I don't have as much to tuck in and then it looks like cute in the back too. So I was excited to find me a little shirt. And then I also got this shirt from Old Navy that is so cute and perfect for around here because it doesn't really get cold, but we like to act like it's cold. Like today, it is 90 degrees and so humid outside and look what I'm wearing. Trying to pretend like it's cold over here. It ain't, okay? We're gonna pretend like it is. <laughs> um, so this one is like a little thin sweatshirt and it's kind of like loosey-goosey at the bottom, but then it has like the fitted sleeves that I love. So I can feel like, you know, we're in Louisiana fall weather and I'm wearing like a cow neck sweater, but it's not super hot. So I was excited to find that. I think it's from Old Navy. Oh, all these shirts were five dollars which is like it's all about where you go so if i was at a store and found a shirt for five dollars i'd be super excited but um at a thrift store i'm like oh five dollars you know but they had a fitting room so i tried everything on so i knew that i wanted it so it was cool and i love it because i never go shopping like hardly ever unless i absolutely need something i do shop at the boutiques around here like that's where these jeans are from I have two friends that own a boutique, so I try to go there and shop, but as far as like going to the mall or something like that, that don't happen. Like it's the boutiques that my friends own and it's Walmart. That's where I shop. But I don't care as long as it looks good. Like I would totally pay $50 for a nice pair of jeans and I would totally sport my $5 shirt. It don't matter as long as it looks good. And it's comfy. That's why I like to spend more on my bottoms because they're not comfortable, I'm not gonna wear them. So I'd much rather pay $50 for a pair of jeans that I'm gonna wear all the time than $5 for a pair of jeans that I'm never gonna wear. Um, okay, this one was a large, 
but it's y'all the fabric is amazing it's so soft and comfy and it's long enough that i could wear with some leggings so i was and again a little turtleneck but it's not like a thick fabric so you know it hits like 70 degrees around here i can wear this <laughs> so this is cute i was excited about this i feel like this is going to be something i'm gonna wear a lot around the house because it's super cozy and then I need to have I need them to have some garage sales because my kids are growing out of all their clothes and I don't want to have to go to stores and buy stuff. If you can find like a garage sale that has a kid a little bit older than you, you can rack up. Man, I always miss the out on hand-me-downs. I'm the one always handing down stuff to people, but I never get hand-me-downs myself. So this is for the 10-year-old. And this is really for me because I want to make sure she has something cute to wear if we have some casual Christmas party she'll have that little green sweater and then this little jacket was cute and the kids clothes are only two dollars so two dollars for this jacket two dollars from that sweater I think both of them are from Target that is good um there wasn't um much baby clothes but I did get some jeans for the little girl is this girl jeans yeah because it has a flower and 3t for the one-year-old yep Pushing a 40. I definitely don't like to spend a lot of money on her because she is growing out of them like crazy. And then for the teenager, he loves sweats to wear around the house. So this is a pair of Nike sweatpants. It has pockets. He'll really like this. And I think it was like $3. So that is everything so yeah that was a little bit of a shorter haul my hair um we need some garage sales i'm trying i'm trying to organize a community garage sale we can't actually have a garage sale in the subdivision that i live in but the people around us can so i'm like yes let's have a community garage sale not that because i want to get rid of stuff but because i want to go shopping <laughs> so hopefully we can get that going and get some good garage sales around here so i can bring y'all some haul videos all right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you like haul videos, uh, thrift to treasure videos, all that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. And I will see y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching. And give this video a big.